Do you know how old this book is? Oh, yeah. Uh, it was manufactured in Nuremberg sometime between 1390, 1395, in the Ulrich Stormer mill. Stormer was a uh, councillor in Nuremberg, uh, which was a free imperial city of the Holy Roman Empire. His paper mill was the first permanent one north of the Alpen, and he died of the plague in 1407. Yep. He's definitely your uncle. Excuse me. <sighs> Uh. Wait a minute. Who is she? Uncle Felix. These are my friends, Nick and Tro Teresa. Teresa. Why is she here? She's like me. Both of you. <laughs> Two creams. Go! Oh, stop! <laughs> They are my friends, okay? He is my uncle, okay? So everybody just settle down. We're all friends here. Sorry. Yeah, me too. Okay. So, where's this book? It is over here. Ah, but do not touch with your fingers, it is too old. Hanschuhe. Careful. Huh. Is it real? It looks like, yeah. I would not come all this way to check you. You have more? There are 20. 20 Grimm books? Yeah. Where? I brought some with me. This definitely belonged to a Grim. No, oh, I believe it did. How did you get it? Did you kill him? Oh, no, no, no. No, I, I am not violent, despite what just happened. No, the, these books belong to Yosef Nabozha. He lived in Prague. He was very old. Uh, he died of natural causes. I was brought in to assess the books by an antiques dealer, friend of mine. They were hidden in the attic of the house. Then Yosef must have been a Grim, or a relative of one. I mean, he could have inherited them, had no idea what they were. However you got them is not important. The fact that they exist is a miracle. I should have destroyed them probably, but I can't, they're too rare. It would be like destroying the Magna Carta or the original pages of Chaucer's Canterbury Tales. I devoted my whole life to the written word. I cannot be the one to erase any of them from the world. I've spent my entire life defending the imagination, the thoughts and the passions of a writer who would commit these words to the page. I'm sorry. I get carried away. How much do you want for the books? Well, handling such material is very dangerous. But in spite of the fact that they are priceless, I will let you have them for $100,000. $100,000? $100, Are you kidding me? My antique dealer friend has already been killed. And whoever did it must know that I have these books. Here, you can keep the book I brought. I will contact you in 24 hours for your decision. Uncle Felix, that's a lot of money. It is the best I can do. 